Hi, my name is Becca Schumann, and this is my story. When I was young, I fought a lot for attention. I tried very hard to be seen as equal with my siblings, who both had <laughs> strong personalities and were very gifted academically and athletically. I struggled with comparison. I wanted to prove that I could hold my own and that I, too, was good enough. I struggled with feelings of self-doubt and that I need to perform in order to gain acceptance by people and by God. So growing up, I searched for satisfaction in friends, sports, materialistic things, but they never fully gave me what I desired. I continued to feel empty inside, and the harder I strive for the things, the more energy I put into performing, just the more empty I felt and the more tired I got. I also was pretty selfish growing up. I had an attitude. Um, I was prideful. I didn't want to show any weakness because I thought weakness meant failure and that I wouldn't be accepted by people. Um, it was another reason why I didn't turn to God when I was younger. For one, I thought I wasn't good enough to receive His love and to... Um, I was too prideful. <laughs> I thought I knew how to run my life and I didn't really want God taking control. However, there came a point in life where the things that I was searching after in life um, were just leaving me really dissatisfied. And it was also a point that I was um, contemplating the meaning and purpose of life and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was around this time, I was like 14 years old, that I heard a speaker talk about Jesus and what he had done for me. That he died so I could have a relationship with God. That, um, he told me that Jesus died for my sin, my sin being all my imperfections, my selfishness, my pride, greed, um, that they were all separating me from knowing God personally. And that God created, um, me to have a personal relationship with him. Um, and that God had a perfect plan for my life, you know, and a better plan than, than I can make up on my own. <laughs> so it finally clicked for me that my sin, um, all my wrong actions, they were separating me from a holy, perfect God. Um, and the, all I needed to do was <laughs> admit that I was a sinner and put my trust in Jesus and for paying the penalty for me and, and then I can experience a personal relationship with God. Um, it was at that point that uh, I genuinely wanted God to take control over my life and um, to give me the purpose and the meaning that I couldn't find in the world. Um, ever since I prayed this prayer and I put my trust in Jesus, I have been freed of comparison and performance, knowing that my worth does not come from what I do, but comes from who God says I am. So reading the Bible more, I'm learning more of who I am and um, more of who God is. And it's just it's just been amazing. Um, I'm able to love people better. I'm able to forgive people because I, God continually loves me and he continually forgives me. Um, and I've, my heart, too, is just like figured out. I just found what it's been longing for my whole life. Um, it's been longing to have a relationship with God and um to know his presence and um that's what's been fully satisfying to me in life and I don't have to strive for anything else I don't have to clean myself up to come to God and uh yeah God just fully accepts me who I am I don't have to perform anymore uh so yeah that's my story um thanks for taking the time to listen to my story I'm interested in knowing yours please use the link at the end of this video to connect with me and share your thoughts